In this custom countertop video, we'll cover generating a custom countertop from an existing cabinet, manually drawing a custom countertop, waterfall edges, shaping countertops, countertop cutouts, adding an edge profile, and creating a custom countertop schedule. Let's get started with generating a countertop from an existing cabinet. As we slide over and take a 3D view of the existing cabinet I have placed. Once I click on the cabinet in the lower edit menu is a generate custom countertop and this will separate the countertop from the cabinet. You now have a custom countertop. Now this countertop, once you move it off of the cabinet, notice that the cabinet's countertop regenerates. Inside of the cabinet dialog is the option to remove the countertop. The cabinets include the countertop. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and reset the size of the cabinet to 34.5 inches. Then to generate a countertop for the cabinet, I'm going to use the custom countertop tool. You can draw these with or without a cabinet. I'm going to come over, snap onto the edges of the cabinet, generate the countertop, and then I'm going to select the edge, hold the letter C down for concentric, as I'm dragging this out, I'm going to press the tab key and then in the coordinates, I'm going to put in the overhang amount, 1.5 inches in both directions. This allows me to be very specific and then back in the 3D view, you can see our custom countertop. Now when you want a waterfall and edge, this must be done on a custom countertop. There's a tool in the lower edit menu for waterfall. You can toggle that on, toggle it off. If you open up the countertop itself, you can control the way the waterfall works. There's a setting in the dialog. You can also control if it's a miter or a butt cut. As I zoom in, you can see in this case, and then change that back to miter. And again, we'll just zoom in, take a look. And this is a way you control the way that edge works. Now to shape your countertops, I'm going to click on the selected edge, use the break tool, I'm going to slide along until I find the midpoint. I'm going to select the edge. I'm going to use the curve tool on this edge. Select the other edge. You see the red highlight. I'll curve it. Maybe reshape it just a little bit. You can create lots of different shapes. And now I have a shaped countertop in this case. To create a countertop hole, select the countertop. There's a specific hole tool to create a rectangular hole. You can see the rectangular hole. And then to create other shapes for holes, I'm going to use the CAD tools. In this case, let's just draw a circle in here. And then with the circle selected, go into the lower edit menu, use the convert to countertop. Once we convert that to a countertop, there is an option to mark it as a hole. Now you see that there's a hole in the countertop using a custom shape. And then back in the 3D view, as we tip the view down, you can see the custom hole. To add a molding profile to your countertops, whether it's the cabinet or the custom countertop, there's a molding panel. Go into the library. In the core library, you'll find a collection of molding profiles. You'll also find a collection of molding profiles in the bonus library. You can download these from the 3D library. As I scroll down into my bonus library, you see that the custom countertop edges are showing the profiles below. Select the profile, and then when you select the profile, you can set the width and the height. You can also stack these if you want to. And then once you apply the molding profile and zoom in a little bit, you can see that profile. It typically comes in and matches the molding default. Use the material eyedropper and then apply the color to the edge profile. To create a custom countertop schedule, I do this through CAD details. In my project browser, I'm going to do a new CAD detail. I'm going to give it a name of countertop schedule. Once the schedule creates, you see a blank area in the plan. Underneath the tools menu, I'm going to come down and select schedules. Notice there's no countertop schedule. I'm going to select custom schedule, place that, open up the schedule by double clicking and then as you scroll down the available categories you see a countertop you can include automatic and custom 
and then down in the available columns I'll add a couple of items maybe the 2D symbol and then scroll over for the area add those and then for those categories or columns I'm not interested in I'll multi select them select the remove tool and then I'm going to total those and then let's rename this to countertop schedule and then we have our custom countertop schedule created.